Dragon's Prophet is a new MMO out of uh, Taiwan. The folks that made Runes of Magic are behind it. And uh, I think we're really excited because it's uh, a very unique MMO in the fact that there are literally hundreds of dragons and the spirit and the nature of the game is a little bit different than the standard MMO that's out there right now. And I think that we're trying to play that up in the marketing of it and get people excited about the prospect of um, a new entertainment experience. And, um, you know, it's free to play, SOE. Um, has really embraced that model and we found that it um, is perfect for the players as well as the publisher and it's a great new dynamic that's helping to drive the industry forward. We struggled with um, how do we approach Dragon's Profit differently, right? I mean, there's been so many MMOs that have come out and the marketing campaigns have similar threads and I just didn't want to make another trailer that was Explore Your Destiny, A Hero's Journey. A, and. Um, it just was so overplayed that we tried to come up with a new way to present the title and really embrace the spirit of what the game's all about. Um, I think it was one of those rare cases where there was not really a brief. When we were contemplating what kind of trailer to make, we just were like, let's think differently. Let's do something that's completely out of the box. We wanted to you know, come up with something that we felt like would resonate with the audience and uh, that was a little left of center and something new. Um, so it was when we, kind of contemplated where we could head with it and Eisenberg came up with the concept for a series of three videos that were all in the spirit of kind of like Tenacious D, 80s rock um, and we made a cover of a song about a dragon that was locked in a volcano and then it sort of took on a life of its own and it's all about super metal and what's not metal and it's such perfect um, fodder for fun. There's so many elements from the hair to the <laughs> to the ridiculous lyrics um, and so I think that when everybody could kind of wrap their head around the pitch it took on a life of its own. It l allowed us to do was create a conversation and it's such perfect fodder for social media. I mean people are using the hashtag super metal and not metal in conversations way beyond things about Dragon's Profit so I think it's a testament to how strong and simple the message is and just fun and that's what we wanted to do um, and as a publisher SOE embraces all of the social media outlets I mean they're part of uh, really really integrated into our strategy and uh, woven into the fabric of our company I mean our developers whoever's a spokesperson is on Twitter because we want to be able to get feedback from the players and have a conversation with them and I think that that's what the world's all about these days is we know when you know that you can tweet Obama and get a response, um, the world's been sort of set up the fact that there are no layers or barriers in between.